This is about the Cascades Exporter basic workflow. So I'm the guy to the right actually. I'm a designer and we've got my coder over there in the red shirt. We're gonna make uh, this for you. It's a cowbell app which you can tap and it makes a sound. And the flow for this is you prepare a Photoshop document export the images and the layout and import this into Momentix. Uh, you will need to download the Cascades exporter and uh, so just Google that and do it and now I'm gonna pretend that you're done with that. So here we've got Photoshop and we have this file, this cowbell um, and I'm gonna show you what's in it. Here we have the layers. I'm going to turn all these layers off and then turn them on one by one. This is the cowhide layer at the bottom. And then we have an adjustment layer, a levels layer that makes it a little brighter. Um, and then we have a shadow layer and the bell itself. So that's it. It's a really simple, simple app or a simple Photoshop file. Now we're going to export this. So we're going to use the Cascades Exporter that we've installed and we find it here in Window Extensions Cascades Exporter. There you go. It's a little window. It has a very powerful button down here at the corner that says Export. I'm going to click that, see what happens. I'm going to save it on the desktop. You see it takes the name, it creates a package and it takes the name from, um, from the Photoshop file. So, save. Now what it does is it takes uh, all the layers and finds out uh, where there are pixels and where, where there's transparency and it tries to cut them as snugly as possible. So you get these optimized files that are as small as possible. And here is a review of, uh, of, uh, of the export so you can see uh, what, um, what the tool has done. So this uh, the first file is called bell.png. I click next and there's a shadow and also the cowhide. So uh, that was quick but it's not exactly what I wanted because having the uh, shadow and the, the bell uh, on separate uh, files will not uh, render very optimized in, um, in the app although it is nice to have them separate in Photoshop. Um, so I'll, um, I'll close that down and then I'll take um, the bell shadow and also select the bell layer and I'll group them. So you go into layer, just a regular group, group layers. There you go. And I'll name that uh, group bell and also I'll go ahead and group these, Command G, there you go, and uh, label that background. Whoa, that's a spelling error if I ever saw one. Background, there you go. Um, and now we can hit the export button, save, replace, and it starts cutting up everything again. And now it should be only two layers. And there you go. You have one out of two layers. So it's two layers only. And there you go. You have got the bell and the shadow all baked into one file. And uh, sometimes it's easier to see that if you have a different background like gray or, or white. Um, and um, and that's it. Now uh, we've exported the file uh, on the desktop and you see here cowbell it saves um, a screenshot of what it's supposed to look like so and uh, a package that contains um, the image files the transparent PNG files and also has some uh, metadata that, um, that tells your programmer 
uh, the location uh, of uh, the position of, of your files. And uh, so you, when you send this to your programmer, you can take the screenshot, put it in the email, and so he knows the end result you're looking for, and you take the package, and you put that as an attachment, and then you write something. And you send it off to your programmer. Hi, I'm the programmer, and my designer just sent me a package file with uh, the uh, UI for the, the project we're working on. Uh, as you see here, I've, I've already started uh, coding, and I'm just taking the package and dragging it into uh, my QML file in Momentix. Momentix is our uh, uh, Eclipse-based IDE. Um, we added preview for QML files, for Cascades QML files. And bam, we have, we have all the code that's generated from the package file. And as you see, we have the background and bell files from, uh, from Photoshop. What you also can do is you can, you can preview the, uh, the UI and you can preview the UI with code. And as you see here, we have a lot of properties we can change there are even more but not all of them are shown and uh, we can take the uh, bell image and move it to the uh, to the left oh well and there are lots of more properties that we can we can change um, the set angle the position and the size and loads of loads of more and all of these can be animated. Um, but this is not a tutorial on how to, to code. So thank you for, for watching how to drag up into Momentix.